guys, Matt here, and welcome to my fragrance obsession. I hope you're all doing very well. <sighs> Let's go back to the 1980s, shall we? To a company which sort of didn't last that long. Um, it's a clothing company called Camp Beverly Hills. Now, I'm going to cut this bullshit from wearing sunglasses and having this fragrance just fell. I'm going to cut the bullshit from having this camera effect on my screen and wearing these sunglasses, so yeah. In this episode, we're gonna look at a fragrance, like I said before, it comes from the house of Camp Beverly Hills, and this fragrance is called The Man's Cologne, or The Men's Cologne, actually. Now, I got this fragrance off uh, my friend Matt. Uh, he sent me this uh, along with all the other fragrances that he sent me at Christmas time, so Matt, thank you very much for this for this fragrance man this is actually one of my favorites i actually really love this stuff it's amazing now pardon me for my voice guys if you can if i sound a bit different it's because i'm actually suffering from a cold at the moment so please forgive me now back to the review now this fragrance actually came out in 1985 the only way that i know that is because on the back it actually tells you 1985 camp beverly hills incorporated there's some information on the back of this uh, bottle that i really want to tell you about now it says here, positively sporty, outrageously brash, totally together, Camp Beverly Hills. Definitely California. When I look at this bottle, this scent just looks like it came straight from the 1980s. Which is obvious. It kind of reminds me of something that Crockett would have worn in Miami Vice or something. It's got that sort of colour. It's like turquoise. We get Camp Beverly Hills there in the set and then we get the men's cologne underneath. I just love how 80s this stuff looks, you know? It's it's incredible. It's like a little time capsule. It's it's in brilliant condition. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Now, unfortunately, the perfumer for this fragrance is unknown. It's kind of obvious. I mean, it's not like it's it comes from a very famous brand. So, you know, whatever. But this fragrance... Is really really nice now I'm gonna stick this up here this is what your little bottle looks like now this is a 7.5 mil um, because this fragrance is like heavily discontinued you can only find this fragrance in little bottles like this so yeah Camp Beverly Hills and turquoise there and we get the logo in the middle of the palm tree and the beach uh, then we get the, the men's cologne right under there uh, 25 point 25 fluid ounce 7.5 mil uh, Colonia Incorporated Distribution, uh, Orange County, I think that's what it says, Orange County. Hmm. At first I was like, what does it smell like? It actually smells like something. Definitely smelled good, without a doubt, but this to me definitely had another fragrance in mind when I was smelling it, and yeah, do you guys want to know what it is? It's this one right here. Sung Home by Alfred Sung. This fragrance probably smells about... 80% similar to this fragrance um, Which is not a bad thing because I actually actually really like this fragrance So I'm not going to compare it to this fragrance as much I'm going to talk primarily about this one now because this is a splash I have to be really careful about how much I apply. So there we go Okay, now in terms of the notes for the men's cologne by Camp Beverly Hills in the top We get grapefruit melon lavender Neroli and palm wood Now the only frag other fragrance that I am aware that actually features palm wood is Set Sail Seam Barts by Tommy Bahama and uh, That one to me is a very woody aquatic scent of course smells like tequila, but this one Definitely definitely not like those type of aquatic scents. This one to me smells no doubt about it old school. It's got a sort of masculine men's aftershave, gentleman aftershave to it, a uh, very mature sort of scent but no doubt about it this one actually smells really really nice and when I was talking about it being very very similar to Sung Home uh, the only reason it's similar is because of the initial blast of soapiness that this fragrance gives off. I definitely get the grapefruit like the grapefruit is fleeting like straight away this the grapefruit note hits you straight in the face I don't really get a, a, a melon sort of smell I mean it's it does have a tropicalness to it no doubt about it an old school type of tropical smell definitely not like the ones you get today you know like I was saying before it's not like a Nautica Voyage it's not like a Set Sail St. Bart's it's not even like anything from Bond number no. nine so this one is very very old school but I do get a bit of that lavender in the opening, a little bit with that in the royally also. It 
kind of does have an oriental sort of smell to it but it's actually a very tame fragrance even though like when you first apply it it does come across as smelling very strong uh, especially that grapefruit note it does sort of calm down to a sort of mellow soapy sort of scent but no doubt about it this fragrance is absolutely wonderful it's very very clean so if you're into your clean scents this is a good one because it's got a lot of character to it actually and in terms of the middle notes guys we get sandalwood lily of the valley and jasmine so in the middle of this fragrance, once it's, once it's been on your skin for about an hour or so, the fragrance gets very powdery. Definitely keeping its soapiness though. The sandalwood doesn't smell as strong as um, I would have expected. I was expecting the sandalwood to be a little bit stronger in this fragrance. Lily, a little bit of lily. I mean, I've noticed the lily definitely plays a big part in this fragrance Like after that, after that hour. But again, it's not as strong. And that jasmine, no. I wouldn't really say that I got a lot of jasmine either. It's... Overall, this fragrance is very, very heavy on that grapefruit, and it keeps its sort of clean soapiness, you know? But it, 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 it's still very, very unique. But whenever I smell this, I do think of Sung Home. Just not as strong. This one is more like an aquatic take on Sung Home, if that makes sense. You get what I mean, right? And in terms of the base notes, guys, we get musk, cedarwood, amber, and oak moss. Now, I'm not surprised this fragrance has oak moss in it. I mean, a lot of the older fragrance did feature oak moss. Uh, this fragrance on my skin probably lasts about four hours. So it's not bad considering this is a an old scent, but it's also an aquatic. There's no doubt about it. This is an aquatic scent. Um, four hours isn't really bad. I mean, considering I've only put a little bit on my hand there, that is usually the amount I would put on my skin. So really, it's not really that bad. You know, it's not really that bad whatsoever. But yeah, this fragrance dries down to a nice musk accord with a little bit of cedarwood, keeping a bit of a sweetness. Uh, amber, I don't really get a lot of amber, and oak moss, mm, not a lot of oak moss either, because oak moss is a very earthy smell. Um, so I don't really get that. Overall, it dries down to a nice musk and a very nice sweet cedarwood note. So, to me, this fragrance is pretty nice. Um, is it worth a big bottle? Not really. <laughs> Even though it's difficult to find the big bottles, but uh, would I have another one of these? Yeah, I think I would. Oh god, right, right there. Grapefruit. <laughs> it's so strong. But I think this fragrance will do very, very well in the summer. Obviously, it's intended to be a summer scent, but I just think it'll work much better. Very nice scent, guys. I would highly recommend it if you can find it. And Matt, thank you so much for this, buddy. You're an absolute gent. Thank you. I love it. So, guys, thank you so much for watching my episode of My Fragrance Obsession. And this is Camp Beverly Hills, The Men's Cologne from 1985. So... It's a vintage and it's awesome so do find it and get it okay that's my recommendation to you guys okay it's pretty inexpensive also you can find it pretty cheap uh, I think when you I think when I was looking before I, there was a seller giving away two bottles of this for like 10 quid so yeah do it and if you're a collector like me then it should be awesome you know so guys thank you so much for watching my episode on this fragrance i really do appreciate it i was going to wait until to do it in the summer but i thought why not let's do it now get my 80s style shirt out and uh yeah just review it why the hell not so guys thank you so much for watching you're all incredible keep smelling good and i'll see you all in the next episode bye bye for now